The Bill 6 information session in Leduc was as contentious as all the others. Bill 6 is the farm unionization bill that masquerades as a farm safety law, forcing farms and ranches to purchase WCB coverage, adhere to OHS laws, and allow their workers to unionize. Now, white collar union rules just do not work on farms. Before the information session, a group of farmers actually drove their tractors through Leduc to the meeting held at the Leduc Recreation Session. And they had a small gathering outside where PC MLAs Rick McIver and Richard Gottfried spoke briefly. Here. Knowing you're here, that supports us. We're on your shoulders. You're not on ours. We're on your shoulders and we're there to speak on your behalf. So thanks for doing it. Keep doing it. So keep it up and kill Bill 6. Now, farmers are always so eager to tell me why they think Bill 6 is bad. Listen. And it's not about safety. It's about uh, labor, government control, unionization, uh, you know, more government. That's the socialist agenda, and we get it. But it takes away our choices, and that infuriates us. It tells us we're stupid, you know, to make, we can't make right decisions. They're, they're best able to make the decisions, the OH&S. And uh, I've never seen such arrogance in a government in all my years in this province, and I've lived here my whole life. Biggest problem with Bill 6 is trying to tell us what hours we can and cannot work when the farm doesn't operate that way. We do not get snow days, we do not get days off, we do not get holidays. We, rec or we rely on all of our friends and family to come together should we want to leave the farm for a few minutes. Now, I also met a young farmer who had something very interesting to say. He said he called the Premier's office and oh &S staff returned his call. Listen. I had called the, the Premier's office and uh, Minister Sigurdsson's office and both times oh &S returned my calls. And I told them that they shouldn't be handling the political and they kind of implied to me that they had no choice in the matter, that they were told to return these calls. Now that sounds a heck of a lot like the time the Premier's office staff returned a call made to the cell phone of Lou Arab, Rachel Notley's husband and the Director of Communications for the Canadian Union of Public Employees. Minister of Municipal Affairs Danielle Larravee and Minister of Economic Development and Trade Darren Billis, as well as local NDP MLA Shay Anderson showed up to face the heat from the farmers and the ranchers. Now, Shea Anderson got himself into some trouble last week for calling a peaceful Bill 6 rally violent. And these farmers did not let him forget about it. Just watch. Shea, um, farm employees and employers are not illiterate. We are not irrational or hostile people as you portray us on Twitter. We can read and we have access to the internet. And Larravee and Billis faced some really tough questions and quite frankly, they did not have the answers. Just watch. I will take your comment regarding the lack of, uh, of competitiveness you know, with the, uh, the large farms back to the table. Myself and uh, Minister Billis are happy to bring things back. So I appreciate your feedback. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. I don't know the answers about about dairy farming. I don't know the answers about what those peak hours are. Now, a farm worker even explained why she is against Bill Six. Here, the farm that I work for, um, I am an employee. I it carry my own insurance. I carry Capri insurance, which is geared specifically to the equine industry and what we do. I carry Alberta Equestrian Federation membership, which comes with insurance. I have my own life insurance policy. So your WCB is saying none of this counts. They now have to pay for me to have WCB, which isn't as good or as specific as the insurance that I already carry. Um, so that just doesn't make sense and it shouldn't be forced on me. I am me standing right here, not the farm owner, but an employee of the farm. I am the person you are trying to protect or say that this is bill is for. And I'm telling you, I don't want it or need it. <laughs> and as always, the Hutterites were there in full force. In fact, David Cheddar, a Hutterite from Shady Lane Colony a Grand Prairie, gave an inspirational speech about his people and maintaining the unity in Alberta's agricultural community that even earned him a standing ovation. Here. The amendments that, you're, that you announced, until we see them in writing to see what they pertain, they have no value for us. When you said that there's a difference between a large-scale farm and a family farm, 
and I totally am offended by that. We are a farming family, whether there's 10 or 1. We don't have offices in Mumbai, India, or the CN Tower, or downtown Edmonton, or Calgary. We work and live and die and are buried on the farm. Next time, city folks go into your favorite grocery store or your favorite meat shop, and you pick up your favorite piece of meat or vegetable, you think about Bill 6 because you are in fact that we are the gate to your plate. And you need to understand that. <laughs> the Tarian Brethren of Alberta refuse to be singled out refuse to receive special treatment. When we are one voice in Alberta, we will beat this thing. We are the United Farmers of Alberta. The NDP are offering these farmers nothing when they should be giving them answers. But what can we expect without a single farmer in the entire NDP caucus? For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed.